Okay, so in this uh, tutorial video here, I'm going to be showing you about how to make uh, an InDesign file start page one on the left side rather than on the right side like you see up here. Um, there's a number of different situations where you might need to have this happen and it's not very obvious on how to do this. Um, so, first of all, if you just need to get uh, the document to start out so it, it's on this page and you don't care about the page numbers, there's a very simple, easy solution to this. All you have to do is come up to File and go to Document Setup and start your document on page 2. This will refactor your document, um, your InDesign file, and set um, the page to start on the left. Now, in this particular case, this does not work uh, for this particular document because this is a study journal and it's marked off by days and those days are actually referenced by the page number it's an automated feature and so in this particular case day one now is showing up as day two which is a problem so this is how we fix this and keep the page numbering so you click on the first page here in the document and go all the way down to the last page and click hold shift and click the last page while you're holding shift and it will highlight all the pages now you can go up to this little hamburger menu up here and click on that and say allow selected spreads to shuffle we're gonna uncheck this now that it's unchecked it's actually locking all the spreads in their current uh, state so that the spreads are all locked together and you can see that denoted by these brackets uh, with each other it means that page that this is locked to this one. Now we can come back to the document setup and file and come back and say start the document on page one. Now all of a sudden we've got it fixed and we're good to go. So now the last page is coming up as day 183 which is correct and the first page is coming up as day one. So that's how you get this to work so that the first page of the document is actually on the left rather than on the right. Um, now there's a couple other things I'm going to show here in this tutorial that uh, are kind of in addition to to what I just did. The reason why I'm doing this is because this is actually this document is actually part of a book. A book is a um, InDesign file, a special kind of InDesign file that actually combines multiple InDesign files together. In this particular case, there's two other doc, uh, InDesign files that occur before this and when I go to export out this book as a PDF for print is what's going to happen. It's going to combine all these together into a single PDF. But now the problem is, is that the way it was beforehand, there was one, page one, two, three. So there's three pages before this. So the first page would start on the right, the next page would be on the left, and the next page was on the left, right. And that meant that this last document here that I'm on currently this page one has to start on the left um, and that in order for the layouts to actually follow the way they're going to happen correctly the way it was previously it would have shuffled this um, it would have shuffled these pages around and it would have worked and looked like this in the final PDF but the problem is is when I send this uh, book to a printer, I need to have this center area of the um, of the spread 
be wider, the margins need to be larger on this part than they do on the on the outside because it gets eaten up by the binding in the book. And is what would happen if I tried to make these larger in the previous way where the the first page fell over here when it got shuffled into this book all of a sudden my margins would all be backwards and I'd have a small margin on the outside and or I'd have a large margin on the outside and a small margin on the inside and all my book would get stuffed into the binding so now that uh, I fixed this and I've actually got the pages to line out the correct way as they're supposed to with the layout on the right and the left properly now I can actually go ahead and shuffle these things out to the edges and actually create the margins the way that they need to and I can do this uh, to the entire document um, very quickly using a script so I'm going to come to Windows here and I'm going to uh, open up Utilities and Scripts. And then I'm going to go to Adjust Layout, JSX. And I'm going to move this over 18 points this way and 18 points that way. And this is going to shuffle, shuffle them out. Um, and here we go. So now it just it's going through and it's doing this to every page. It's a script that's running. So if I did undo, it's not going to undo all this at one shot. It's going to undo it one by one. So so don't do that unless you. Uh, unless you're sure that's what you want to do because you can't just undo this script. So I'm going to close the scripts and this is ready. Uh, we'll be ready to go to uh, print once I adjust the master page because you can see up here that that script did not affect the master page. It only affected the actual content pages. So that is in a nutshell how you can get the uh, the first page of the document to start on the left and have the layouts fall the way that you see here and it's very useful because it's in a book and you can't always have this work out the way that uh, um, where you need you need the to be able to have the gutter like I have here and make the the spreads work out properly when you have multiple InDesign files coming in like this. And I also showed uh, a quick little script on how to create this gutter uh, very quickly in the document without having to do a bunch of stuff manually. So if you're, as a little plug here, if you are interested in doing a Bible study, uh, this Bible Study Journal is going to be available at BibleStudyTogether.com. You can go there and get that. It uh, takes you chronologically through the whole Bible um, in the Old Testament, and then it also combines passages in the Old Testament with passages in the New Testament to daily readings. And so on the weekdays, you can actually be reading from First John and Proverbs together and there's questions that go along with each day's reading and there's a little challenge that goes along with it so online we have an app and we have uh, maps and videos and all sorts of things all tied together uh, for each day's reading so come take a peek at it and it's at biblestudytogether.com <laughs>